What's up guys? Uh, so this is going to be, we're just going to revisit, you know, I made the video about the IPF points and Ray Williams coming in ninth overall after his world record setting performance. Okay, first let me correct my mistake. He didn't come in ninth overall. He came in 16th overall among men. Um, and I'm wanting to say, he, it, with women included, he was like 27th or 28th, but it's really hard to compare the sexes anyway. But yeah, uh... 16th overall amongst men after totaling a total that has never been totaled before in history. So that got me curious to uh, go and dig a little deeper uh, the IPF points and how it ranks, you know, him specifically as I feel like Ray Williams is the best lifter in the USAPL um, by far and away. So. All time USAPL totals, all all totals considered, you know, in the history of the USAPL. Uh, going into that weekend, IPF points had Ray Williams ranked number seventy-seven overall. Had the biggest total in the federation, um, ranked number seventy-seven overall. After that meet at the Arnold, uh, or he upped his previous world record. Um, you know, he's now 198 pounds uh, higher than the second biggest total in the USAPL. Uh, he dropped from 77th to 81st overall among men. Um, if you filter it to men and women, I think he's number 137. Uh, and funny enough, the lady at 136, and this is not to detract from her, um, her total is 100 pounds less than Ray squat. And she's ranked directly ahead of him. So, uh, if any of you are friends with me on Facebook, uh, there's a conversation on my Facebook page amongst myself, uh, Greg Knuckles, Derek Wilcox, um, Michael Bales, another good lifter. Uh, and Greg Knuckles really went into detail about the numbers aspect of it and how the formula actually works. Uh, I'll be honest, like a lot of that went over my head. Uh, I, I, I understand it, but then I kind of don't at the same time, if that makes any sense. I just feel like, you know, whatever formula you're going to come up with, and obviously Ray's going to be an anomaly because his weight is so much heavier. Uh, their, their heavyweight class starts at 264 pounds. I think he weighed right at 420 pounds, uh, for the Arnold meet there. But, uh... So, so his number is going to skew the data, maybe. Either way, if you have a formula that's ranking your lifters, you know, as best lifters comparing classes, and you've got the biggest, strongest lifter with the biggest objective total in a sport where the objective is to have the biggest total, and he's not even ranked in the top ten. Like, I could... I could feasibly, you know, hear the argument for, you know, say the, the number one ranked 198 pound total, uh, the number one ranked 181 pound total, those guys like beating Ray on formula, I still probably wouldn't agree with it, but that wouldn't be far fetched to me being that they have, you know, whatever, uh, USAPL record for total in their own weight class. So you'd be comparing basically top total versus top total. Uh, but he's ranked fucking 81 among men. His, uh, I think Kelly Branton has the second biggest total in USAPL history. And it's 198 pounds less than Ray's. Like, he's he's in a league of his own. There's nobody even close to him. Uh, which is why I think he's the best lifter in the Fed. Obviously, he's the biggest, strongest lifter in the Fed. If not the world. Uh, and, you know, 81st amongst men. And 137th when compared across classes. Now, I'm not a fan of formulas in particular anyway. Wilkes had him number one in the USAPL history, amongst men or women. Uh, his total has him number one in USAPL history among men or women. Uh, there's a couple other uh, formulas that you can filter on uh, openpowerlifting.org. And... I think one of them had him like number two, had Jesse Norris number one, which Jesse Norris's total uh, is ridiculous uh, for his weight. And then there was another one 
it still had him in the top 10. Nothing had him outside of the top 10 except for the IPF points. And again, I, you know, encourage you to look on my Facebook page if uh, you're a fan of really looking at the hard data and numbers being broke down by somebody much smarter than me. Um, just philosophically is more where I'm coming from. Uh, and, you know, again, dudes lifting weights that no human being ever has. Uh, and, you know, he dropped rank <laughs> uh, over the weekend where he set an, a new all-time world record. Uh, you know, squatting 490 kilos, almost 1,100 pounds, <laughs> totaled uh, over 1,100 kilos, like 2,452 pounds, um, and and we're just talking about comparing him, you know, within his federation, him being 190 pounds better than second place. Um, obviously, it's the world record too, regardless of federation, um, and I think that. Uh, it's it's the biggest by a pretty sizable chunk. Yeah, it, it it's the biggest raw total um, without wraps in history by 77 pounds, um, and that's comparing all feds, all lifters, tested or not. So, um, yeah, I just I don't see it nor agree with it putting him being ranked that low uh, in his federation given what that total is, uh, you know, as a whole. So, uh, interested to hear you guys' opinions below.